Um, okay, so I love it when a high school is involved because you know the whole school is behind it. Eden Vale High School. Mm-hmm. And this comes from the top, Jim. This is from the, uh, the headmaster, okay. uh, Mr. Harmer. He got in touch and he said, let's set up our uh, maths teacher who set a paper last week, Monday. They had, they had this exam, the grade 11 maths literacy exam. Now, I mean, everybody is so proudly South African at the moment. She thought, wouldn't it be nice to set the paper in the theme of the Soccer World Cup? Mm-hmm. So what she proceeded to do throughout the paper, she pasted FIFA logos on there. She mentioned all the things about soccer, FIFA 2010. All the things that we are supposedly not allowed to mention because of copyright control. Oh. Okay. Well, I must tell you that for the sake of this call, there's a new general secretary of FIFA. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, so now basically we're sitting in, in, in the headmaster's office. Mm-hmm. He has called her over the PA. Mm-hmm. And now we're waiting for her to arrive into his office where he's going to duly hand the phone over. Okay, to the FIFA representative. Yes. A maths exam with a FIFA, like, we, 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 we wouldn't do something like that. It doesn't happen. It's, you are? Yakov, I'm the general secretary of FIFA. Yakov. General, general Se- secretary of FIFA, you are? Yes. I've got, the ladies here, so I, I mean, I haven't seen the papers. So I've got, I, I can't make a, a call on this, but um, I don't want to have a chat to her and just clarify. It's a maths literacy paper, grade 11. Just hold a moment. Good morning, how are you? Hello, who am I talking to? You're speaking to Teresa Dendrinas. It's been reported to my office about a, a contravention of the Copyright Act here with the FIFA logo on one of your paper. Um, I might have accidentally used it inserting a picture or something like that Shame. without you know, necessarily meaning to use the FIFA logo. <laughs> I'm told that this paper was written, uh, the, the, the exam is, is gone already? Yes, the paper has been written already. So you would have seen this paper Monday? Yes. Okay, and you can't remember that far? Yeah, no, see, I, I've marked my trick papers in the interim. Okay, honesty is the best policy here. No lying, no ifs, no buts, no I can't remember. Is it on the paper or not? Yes. That's 10,000 euros fine. <laughs> well, I, was, I wasn't aware as we are a school... And we set according to a theme that there were so many implications. I mean, yes. using Bafana, Bafana, and so on. I mean, it is a patriotic paper to our country, actually glorifying soccer, where children did mathematical calculations like on a soccer field, and the perimeter and the paint needed and all of that. Are you telling me you also speak about paint? Yes. Is copyright FIFA. <laughs> 5,000 euro fine. <laughs> The words World Cup. Let's say 20 times. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that would be Stop. another 20,000 euros. Yeah, no, look. How many times did you mention the word Bafana Bafana? Oh. It, maybe three times. Three times, 3,000. <laughs> okay, tell me, how many times you say 2010? <laughs> well, it would be in the date on the paper. would be 2010 because it would be June 2010. 2010 euros. <laughs> how many times you say the words FIFA? Probably about four times. Oh. Four thousand euros. <laughs> How many times you say the word soccer? The whole paper is about soccer. <laughs> Yo, okay, let's make a ten thousand. <laughs> You're looking at about seventy-five thousand no, no. euros. Fine for your school. Yeah. It's a lot of money. <laughs> it's not nice when your people do it just... Okay, um, can I please end this conversation here? And I, I would say, it, not, not ignorance, but I mean, setting a paper based on the theme of our country and being patriotic you, you know in what? South Africa. You want to be patriotic? <laughs> Sing your national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand that, but I, I'd also prefer oh. that you don't degrade me any further. You so. want to be patriotic? Wear a dress in your flag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I headmaster would like to finish the conversation with you, please, sir. So I've got a tearful lady here in front of me. And it's just unacceptable as far as I'm concerned that you've reduced one of my stop members to tears. Okay, then I tell you what, put the phone back to her. One moment. Mm. Hello? Are you, are you crying now, lady? Because I feel that it is absolutely degrading that when, when I think I'm, I'm acting in good faith and patriotism that you tell me that I must sing my national anthem. That's being the ultimate patriot. I sing my national anthem every time we have an assembly, and I know all the words. Well, you don't deserve oh. a medal. I can sing my national anthem too. <laughs> you see, it's easy. 
And I do wear the flag and I do support soccer. And I wear Serbian right. underpants. And I did something that shows our children what it means to be a patriot and be proud of our country and be proud of soccer. Yes. That's and I did nothing. Please stop it, lady. You're going to make me cry now. Well, maybe that's a good thing because you need to realize that as a South African. Yes, 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 yes. I'm proud of the fact that we were given the Soccer World Cup. Yes, we give you the World Cup. You know, send the people that need to see us and we will take the matter from there. My legal team going to walk into your office and you're going to get surprised. That's fine. You know why? The head lawyer for my legal team is a guy called Wackhead Simpson. That's oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Shame, you are man. a terrible person, Wackhead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? David Taylor is going to die this afternoon. <laughs> what about your principal? He's also in big trouble. They're all in big trouble today. Yeah, no, I'm going to go now. I think I need a drink. You Never can't mind a smoke. Shame. Come on, drink and smoke at school. Even I know that. I'm a teacher, so it's fine. I'm going home now. <laughs> Eden Vale High School, thanks to the uh, the principal, Mr. Homer, and of course the maths teacher, Teresa Dendrina.